Hey everybody, Nugs here with another discussion video. This one is a very important topic in our little community that I don't think gets enough attention. Uh, this is the console issues discussion video. And console sure does have a lot of issues that really need to be addressed in this uh, game by the developers. And it's very unfortunate because just when you look at the console players as a whole, they make up a, lar a much larger portion of this game than PC players do. But before I get into that, I just want to thank everybody who turns up to my streams and subscribes and likes and comments. I really do appreciate all you guys and anybody who hasn't joined our streams yet. We have a lot of fun there. Uh, we usually do in either competitive events or special events hosted by some Discord channels. Um, so it's a lot of fun. I hope to see more of you guys there. I'm going to post the stream schedule up there right now for anyone who doesn't know what times and what days I'm streaming. So there you go. So now let's get into this issue. If you guys like these kinds of discussion videos, hit me with the likes, hit me with the comments, hit me with those subscriptions, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. You know how it is. Uh, and now let's get into this. So this console issue, man, this game right here that's in the background, these are clips from the actual match that we did. This was a PC versus console match. And I know what you're saying. Of course, PC is going to win. But I went into this thinking console might pull this out. And the, way, the reason I said that is because this isn't just some regular PC versus console match. This is 32 of the best PC players versus 32 of the best console players. And I'm going to post the uh, scoreboard there uh, right on the screen now. And you'll see from this that this wasn't just uh, your average PC stomp. Uh, the console players actually had a lot more level 1000s on their team than we did, meaning the console players had more experience on their side than we did, but they just didn't stand a chance because console is inherently a different game um, compared to PC. And console also has a much larger player base than PC on this game. They have you know, PS4, PS5, and both of the Xboxes. And they don't get any attention from the developers. They are completely ignored. There hasn't been really a single change to this made, uh, to this game made on console in like two years. There was like one change that they made and then they reverted it right back. I know a lot of console players didn't like the change, but a lot of console players did like the change. That change made it possible to same side attack on console. Um, there were points in this game here that we actually had to let the console players take the objectives. That's how bad it was. We had to back off so that we can keep playing. And when we actually wanted the match to end, we decided that ending. We were like, okay, let's stop it right here so that they don't have to go anymore. Let's go over the reasons why console players even play a game like this um, when they could be playing other games but they like this game this is the only game like this on console yeah they have Lord Howe, but that's not a game that is in inducive to success on, on console um, you can't compete at all with PC players in Lord Howe. at least in this game you can compete a little bit like you can get kills here or there um, and you can compete in a, in a way but with Lord Howe, you can't compete at all and it's, it's the only game like this on the genre. Yeah, they have like For Honor, maybe. That's kind of similar. Um, but yeah, this is the best medieval fighting game, arcade-style game that you can buy on console. And that's why it has such a large player base. Well, that and the developers make it free every other month on console and on PC. But let me get this straight for you guys. I'm not a PC elitist at all. I've owned many consoles before I got a PC. Um, the only reason I got a PC is because I got a, a, a decent job and I was able to afford one. Otherwise, I'd still be playing on console and complaining about how console is so unfair compared to PC. I don't think that just because you have a console, you should be gatekept out of being able to compete with PC players. Um, I don't believe in that argument that PC players use that if you don't like console, you should just go buy a PC if you want to compete. I think that console players should be able to compete with PC. Um, and I would have no problem if the developers added some extra, I wouldn't say aim assist, but 
some kind of thing that evens the playing ground, some kind of new mechanic that can help them get up to the level where it's it's uh, a little easier. I wouldn't even care if they did something like make the weapons counter windows a little bit longer so that they uh, can counter easier because we don't need the help countering. We do it very easily, but I feel like on console, it's a little bit harder to counter. A little bit harder to get that timing down with the bumpers and stuff. Now let's get into some of the things that console needs to actually being it, be able to start competing. Number one is the ability to same attack faint. I don't know why they don't have this ability anymore, but it's a necessary ability to compete at a higher level. And what I mean by same attack fainting is just say you slash and you want to faint to your alternate version of the slash or overhead or stab. It's a necessary ability. It, it makes it so that you can extend the length of your attack, whether that is to get better distance or say you want to hold an overhead for like eight seconds instead of like three seconds. It just, it just is an ability that allows you to throw people off and beat them. And if you can't do that, then your attacks just become very predictable. And un it's unfortunate, but I, see, I do see a lot of console players who play very predictably. And you can just extend a duel with them forever and beat them whenever you want. Second thing that they really need to be able to compete is the ability to throw weapons. And I know a lot of people think throwing weapons is cheap. Um, only bad players like to throw weapons. But throwing weapons is a pretty damn powerful skill at a higher level if you're able to do it consistently. Um, there's a lot of situations in these uh, in these competitive matches where you need to kill somebody in a half a second window before they get their defenses back up. And if you get closer to guess, you're just entering a shredder of swords and axes. So throwing something is a safe way to end somebody who's low health but has a very good defense. And you can't really do that on console. It's like a 60% chance that your fingers are going to screw up and you're going to end up slashing your teammate in the back instead of throwing your weapon at the enemy. And it's very sad that they can't do one of the basic mechanics of the game. Something that is advertised in the game that you can throw anything in this game. And that is one of my favorite things about it. You can pick up horse crap and throw it at someone's head and kill them. But at a higher level, you're throwing Dane axes and it's one of the strongest mechanics in the game, but they can't utilize it effectively. And the next thing, at the very least, they need button remapping. On PC, we can remap our keys however we want to, and it is the most powerful thing that you can even think of doing. Um, the default keys are fine. If you're someone who likes to rock the default setup on PC, they're totally fine. You can do it, but you can up your game by putting some of those alt attacks on your mouse and changing a couple of other things. And on console, you can't do that at all. And I, I know that the developers have already come out and they've already said, we're not going to do that. We looked into it. We're not going to do it. But I think they need to look again and put that time investment into doing that um, after they finish the private servers. That is something that they really need to look into doing. And I know a lot of people agree that this is something that should have been done a long time ago. And there's no reason why other than they don't give a crap about console players. And it's very sad that they don't give a crap about their biggest portion of the player base. Um, I bet you that if console players just turned off the game and stopped playing, they'd change their tune a little bit. And I'm not calling for a boycott or anything, but that would be interesting to see their reaction if all of the console players stopped playing all at once. But yet, custom keybinds, a necessary feature that, there, that really needs to be looked at again. And the next one is mouse and keyboard support. Um, let's face it, guys. This isn't 1995 anymore. Consoles and PCs are two in the same. 
they are the exact same thing. A console is just a PC that doesn't have Windows installed. It has a proprietary um, operating system created by the console company, but it's still just a PC. It's just a PC that has an operating system that is specialized in playing video games and not doing everything. So what is the reason why they can't just plug in a mouse and keyboard? Uh, if anyone has the answer to that, I would love to know. Put that down in the comments for me because I have no idea at all. In fact, when I had a PS4, I was able to do that with some games. Some games support it. And I know that if the developers gave a crap, they would be able to put that in this game too. And it's very disappointing that they haven't gotten to that point yet because it it's, uh, really feels like we're moving backwards here in the gaming industry where these developers are just very backwards. And I'm trying to be as respectful as I can to the developers, but I'm sorry. I don't respect when a developer doesn't pay attention to their largest player base. And let's get this straight. Just one last thing on the console thing. My PC is like five or six years old at this point. And it's about as strong as a PS5. So I know it's not a hardware thing. Um, and I know guys, the learning curve to get onto uh, mouse and keyboard is actually pretty high. A lot, probably a lot higher than a lot of you guys think to go with a controller to PC, but I did it. I, I used to have a PS4 and I went to PC after that. And it was a very, very rough transition. I was playing Fortnite at that time and Fortnite is not an easy game to play on mouse and keyboard. You know, you gotta, I was like, how the hell do I reach my fingers here? This is crazy. I feel like I'm gonna dislocate my thumb, but you get the hang of it after a while. It might take a month or two, but it is very worthwhile if you wanna actually be good at a game because there's only so high you can go on console because it is a totally different game. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this discussion. Uh, like I said, uh, I want to hear your comments. If I missed anything, I know I probably missed some of the console issues. I want the console guys to to uh, shout out in those comment sections. Let me know what I missed. I want this video to get shared. I want this to get to the devs so that they can see that the console is struggling and it needs your help, guys, because it's not going to help itself. We need to bring this issue back up over here and let them have another look. And I really want them to commit to making this game playable on console. And I want to thank anybody who stuck around this long. I know this is a was a kind of a long discussion here, but I think it was a necessary one. And with that, I hope everyone has a good day. See you later. Peace out.